friends. So I got a new GoPro, the Hero 9, and I was inspired by Kenji Lopez. My son introduced me to that channel and I'm absolutely loving his work and the stuff he's cooking. So I thought, let me do what Kenji Lopez is doing and grab a GoPro and do some late night stuff. So this is my first ever video. Hopefully everything is in frame. With the Hero 9, it says that in the community forum that I can't have preview on from the GoPro app. So hopefully I set it up right and you're seeing what I want you to see. And so these are the four Quaker Oats, um, two five pound bags that I got from Costco a little, little while back. I was waiting for my GoPro to show you this. I'm going to put them in five gallon buckets. So don't mind the mess in my kitchen. We're still kind of in the middle of having leftovers for dinner. So everyone's kind of having whatever leftover they want. And then I just finished filming my gingerbread house kit for um, an upload. And so that's kind of out there in the kitchen too. So I used to have this, um, this container for my rice, okay? So we're just leaving it like that because I will be getting rid of that. That's not very airtight. So I got these five gallon buckets from, um, what's that, the tractor supply company. If you can see that. These are the best price that you can get. I Someone, I think it was Grandma Prepper told me about them. The unfortunate thing is that they don't have the lids, the gamma lids at the tractor supply company because they are definitely the cheapest over there. I've seen them. Um, they've raised the price, but they're $8.49, I think, and I think this bucket is $3.49 or something like that. I happen to have one in uh, the Phoenix area, so I just order it for a curbside pickup. And then I just um, printed out this from my printer rice and then found a little image, laminated it with my laminator and covered the, just the front part here, okay? So I ended up getting the gamma lids on Amazon because I really don't know where else to get them and so they've come out to like $16 because I've bought like three at a time they can become cheaper if you buy a few more at a time and you have to obviously pick the right company because some are definitely more expensive and so it just opens like that and I've already put it on and I'm sure you can find videos on YouTube to show you how to actually put this uh, on but it was I didn't need a hammer um, I was okay I basically press here first and then put my knee on this while I press the other part. So it, it, it took a little bit of effort, but you could definitely uh, get it done, okay? And so I'm going to just go ahead and put these Quaker Oats into here. And I just went on the internet to see how many pounds of oatmeal would fit into a five gallon bucket. So it told me um, five, 10, 15, 20. So hopefully that's correct. And uh, the, this is where we get our oatmeal for our daily uh, food, okay? Um, from there, we can put it into the OXO containers because that's just a lot, lot easier to, um, what's that called, to um, reach when on a daily basis. So this is what the OXO container looks like, okay? So if we fill this up, that probably takes about at least a week to get through. So that's good enough. So we're good with that. Okay. And uh, let me get the scissors. So I hope this is fun for you. This is something new that I want to try um, and kind of get to see what my house looks like during a normal day. Just things kind of out. Like I said, I just finished, or oh, did I say that? I just finished um, filming my gingerbread house kit. It's over here. You could see my road mic there. I just used my phone to film. I got my studio lights out. So it's a little bit, um, you know, things happening around here, but all those will be eventually put away. Dishes will be done later tonight, okay? I guess you can wear gloves when you're doing this. Why don't I do that? Um, bear with me, I'll be back. I actually have these disposable gloves that, that are for food handling. Um, I got them at Costco a while back and because I used to throw parties and 
um, do church potlucks and things like that. I've always had these. Um, of course, not doing too much partying this year, but still got these. So, and you can see I've put some of these in my hand sanitizing kit or my sanitizing to-go kit. I have a video of that somewhere. Okay, so here I go. I do actually feel better putting the gloves on. So what do you guys think about this? Um, having this type of video on my channel, if you appreciate it, give me a thumbs up. Yeah, because I thought this would be fun. So I'll do oatmeal this time, and if um, this is something more that you want to see, um, prepping, or how I put my food preps together, or away, or organize them, that's what I'll do. Um, I do have to do that 50 pound bag of rice. Uh, that's also been sitting there waiting for me to get my GoPro. Okay, look, this is gonna not fit more than two. Oh, so I'll probably order another. Um, I'll, no, I'll probably keep this bucket and then keep this in their bags for now until we're ready to use, we're ready to put more in there. So this is my supply chain, okay? So uh, when I run out of this, by the way, I'm thinking of getting a 50 pound bag of oatmeal. And so if I have enough five gallon buckets, I'll probably um, be able to get the 50 pound. I didn't want to get more than what I have here at Costco because I just wanted to make sure that I have the space to put all these food preps. So I do have the space, obviously you saw in the pantry there for one of these and then the other one will be for the rice and then the uh, extras. Um, I do have a bucket available in my prepper pantry that I'll do in another video. So anyway, those, that's just me thinking out loud. Um, but these are things for you to think about when you get all your food preps, you know, thank goodness you're getting your food preps, but where are you going to put them all? And if you're like me, I like to kind of store them neat enough that I have a system going on even in my own house. So the system is I go buy them in bulk. So for now it's at Costco. Eventually I would like to get 50, 50 pound bags. Then they will go into these five gallon buckets for everyday use, okay? And then this everyday use, um, this is, uh, will go into the OXO containers. And as this goes down, then that's when I know I need to buy more. So I do have oatmeal that is already um, prepped for long-term food storage, which is more than, which is basically not what we're going to use within a year, okay? So this is for uh, within the next few months. I think I, this, last, this will last for six months, this whole, or was it three months, you know? Something like that. I calculated it before. I did a whole video on it. Did I say six months or three months? Anyway, let me think through that and hopefully I'll remember. Okay, so I think it's just gonna take the two, 10, so it's only two, five pound. Oh, no, no, that's right, okay. Two, five, <laughs> sorry, it's been a long day. Okay, so two, five pound bags, that's 10 pounds, 20 pounds, so correct. 20 pounds in a five gallon bucket. Okay, so let's see here. When we get to the top. Okay, and then please chat away in the comment section. Um, I do love all the advice that goes around, advice that's also given to me. I, I'll tell you the truth, sometimes it gets overwhelming because um, there's so much to do and I want to do, but you know what, that's part of uh, prepping, is just learning, uh, doing the preps, keeping them organized, and just building up slowly but surely. And so, yeah, all right. Okay, this is actually pretty exciting for me. Okay, this, 
makes me feel good that we are prepped for oatmeal. Okay. All right. Let's turn this. Listen, if you got teenagers in the house or middle schoolers, they could definitely do this part of uh, the household work. Distribute the, what do you call that? Distribute the work that needs to get done. Okay, there you go. Oh, and I put, all right, big mistake. I put it in the rice. Well, anyway, I'll just change the label. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so I switched out the labels from the other five gallon bucket and put it here. And as I was thinking about it, I think most definitely I'll get another five gallon bucket and gamelid. And what I'll do instead of pouring the oatmeal into the other five gallon bucket, I'll just keep them in the plastic that they have, but they have to stay in a five gallon bucket um, just to protect them. And then you can see the best before date is April of 2022. So we're definitely gonna get through that. I just don't wanna pour them out of the plastic here, but definitely protect them from bugs while in the five gallon bucket. Well, I hope you enjoyed this type of video. Let me know in the comments below if you wanna see more of this and I'll do other prepping. I think the next one I wanna do is rice and then definitely wanna show you my new prepper pantry, which I'm calling the extended pantry because now my other prepper pantry is more for long-term food storage. Okay, I hope you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one. Bye.